On this edition of Terriers Take 5, the ballots are in and the 50th Hall of Fame class is introduced. Which recent Terriers will wear the scarlet jacket? They say it's all about the climb. How have Terrier athletes done their part to climb America? And the men's lacrosse team will debut as a Division I program. How is head coach Ryan Poley preparing for the inaugural campaign? Opening day jitters are expected on this show. Terriers Take 5 starts right now. Welcome everyone to Terriers Take 5, I'm Brian Moore. As the calendar flips to February, the winter sports are in full swing, and a hint of spring is in the air. Well, at least in BU Athletics. So how do we feature all of that in a span of just five minutes? Start the timer, let's find out. We begin with a milestone and a scarlet blazer. This May, BU Athletics will honor six more members in the 50th Hall of Fame class. Three decades and five different sports are represented by the class of 2014, including four Terriers who finished their collegiate careers in the past 10 years. Pam Spuler, a 2008 graduate, was a three-time All-American field hockey player who returned to the Terriers as an assistant coach for two seasons. John Curry graduated in 2007 as arguably the best goaltender in BU hockey history. He was a two-time All-American before spending four years in the Pittsburgh Penguins organization. Alyssa Trudell was a two-time All-American midfielder in lacrosse, helping to lead the Terriers to three Americas championships before graduating in 2005. A 2004 graduate, Katie Terhune is the all-time leading scorer in BU women's basketball history and only the second Terrier to ever have her jersey number 15 retired. Two football greats make up the other two decades as Jay Hillman, a 1992 graduate, was the first freshman to lead BU in rushing and is tied for the all-time record in touchdowns with 26. And Bob Spate, the elder statesman of the class, graduated in 1983 as one of the greatest Terrier football players of all time. The offensive tackle was the only player in Yankee Conference history to be first-team All-Star all four seasons and one of the five Terriers to be a member of the Yankee Conference's 50th anniversary team. The women's rowing team learned that climbing stairs is not only good exercise for your heart, but also good for raising money and awareness when the Terriers took part in Climb America. Twenty members from the women's rowing team participated in Climb America to support the fight against heart disease. Athletes climbed Boston's tallest buildings to fight America's number one killer in an event created by Brigham and Women's Hospital. Junior Aileen Vermeulen spearheaded the Terriers chapter to improve America's health one step at a time. According to the former BU yearbook, The Hub, lacrosse has been played here at BU since 1934. The women's varsity program was founded in 1980, while the men's team remained a club team up until this year. As the men's varsity team prepares for their inaugural season, I had the chance to sit down with first year coach Ryan Poley. So coaches like to come into a program and, you know, make change. You're coming into this program where you Everything you do is going to be changed. What was it like accepting a position where you are the starting foundation of a program? It's definitely unique. I mean, as you reference to, you typically evaluate what you have, you figure out where you want to get to, and then you make changes accordingly. And getting the job right off the bat and having no players and, and no uh, you know, infrastructure, we just had to decide kind of where, where we wanted to go. You were introduced on June 21st, 2012, Talk about hit the ground running. What were the first five tasks you really put as your focal point on June 22nd? It, it was just recruiting. I mean, we were so far behind uh, where just most programs had already completed their 2013 class. And here we are, we have to go get 30 freshmen. So it was really, that was the main focus, was getting in contact with as many recruits that were still available and trying to get them interested. Sometimes wins and losses can make people a little narrow-minded about sure. what the success of the season was. What are you trying to showcase this year with 31 freshmen, a few transfers, and club team members? We're just trying to get better. I mean, at the end of the day, it's 
we're building this thing for three, four, five years out. But the freshmen that are here, they only have four years. Right. So we certainly don't want to de-emphasize what we're doing this year and say, well, in two years we're going to be great. We, we want to be as, as good as we can and as strong of the program as we can this year. And we want these freshmen to embrace that and, and develop and, and have really strong freshman year. You take a look at some of the history in lacrosse here at BU. The women's team came back for a second time as a sure. D1 program in 1996. It took them a few years until they got into America East play that they became kind of the powerhouse that we know sure. them of. Is there a timetable for you in terms of what you expect to see from this program to get that national notoriety? We'd like to do it with this first class. We'd really? really like to, and I'm not saying we have to be a top 20 team or the top team in the Patriot League, but we want to get it to the point where uh, when you think of good lacrosse and you think of competitive lacrosse and you think of uh, teams that are you know, strong in the Patriot League, you want to think of Boston University. We'd be remiss if we didn't say that. You've already seen your team on the field in a game, in that sure. exhibition against sure. England in October. What was that like? Did that kind of get all the butterflies out at least to start just to see them on the field and playing? The England game was great. We, we wore uniforms and we did you know running clock and it was competitive and it came down to the fourth quarter and we made a couple plays that you know enabled us to win. So it was it, it was good to be in a close game and have to you know make some plays at the end to, to, to win it. So we, we did play it just like a game and uh, we're very excited with the result. Terriers will play their first real game uh, down in Macon against sure. Mercer. Yep. What will that be like for you, for the players, and for the program to be? That is the history, historical sure. first game. It, it's it's a big deal, and we'll you know we'll talk about it and what it means. But at the same time, it's only one game, and it's only you still have to catch and throw, and you still have to get yourself in the right positions. And we, we don't want to make too much. If we win, we'll, we'll be ecstatic, and and you know we'll, we'll enjoy that. And if we lose, we'll move on just like we would if we won. Coach, we're excited to see it. Thanks so much Great. for taking Thanks, the Mark. time. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. The Terriers will make their home debut right here on Nickerson Field on Saturday, February the 15th when the Terriers host the Canisius Golden Griffins at noontime. Be sure to come out and be part of Terrier history. But that will do it for us on the show here on Terriers Take 5. Stay tuned for updates on the show and all BU news through the Athletics website at GoTerriers.com. For the entire Terrier family, I'm Brian Moore saying let's go BU.